Hi, in this video, we will go over the functionality of punch out catalog in Oracle Self Service Procurement Cloud. So, what is punch out catalog? So, punch out is the functionality which enables requesters to click on a link that goes to a supplier catalog or you can say supplier website. It search so you, the user can search for the items on the supplier's website and then the control comes back to the Oracle cloud application back and once they are back in the uh, application in the cloud application requester can then edit and submit the requisition for approval so using a punch out it allows suppliers to maintain and host their own catalog information this ensures that the latest content and pricing is available to requesters. Punch out is in Oracle Cloud Self Service Procurement. It supports CXML, Oracle XML standards, native XML standards, and Oracle Marketplace. So, XML it is a standardized uh, XML extensible markup language that allows transactions to be sent or received between a supplier and a seller system and CXML stands for commerce extensible markup language we will show you how both these are set up in cloud application and another important thing to note is that if a contract agreement exists with a punch out supplier the shopping cart return by the supplier can also include the contract agreement agreement number which has been already created in cloud application this contract agree number, agreement number if it is valid will be stored on the requisition line and will allow auto creation of purchase order when the requisition is approved so for today's video agenda we would be covering the setups for punch out catalog and then we'll show how to create using that particular punch out catalog a requisition so moving to the setups required for punch out catalogs so these are the four setups which are required for punch out catalog first is setting profile options this is the op the first two setups are optional these can be set up depending on the business requirement the third setup which is create punch out catalog is the most important setup because this captures the uh, different attributes or different uh, details which are required to have a connection between the uh, oracle cloud and supplier last is adding this catalog to the content zone so now we'll show you in the oracle and cloud environment how to go over these setups so once you open the uh, cloud environment this is the home page you go to setup and maintenance either from the navigator or you can directly click on the username and click on setup and maintenance so for the first setup which is set profile options once you land on this particular page, select the offering. Select procurement. From procurement, select self-service procurement. This would list the tasks required for self-service procurement. From here, select all tasks. This would show all the tasks which are there for self-service procurement functional area.
click on Manage Self-Service Procurement Profile Options. This will show all the profile options which are there for configuring self-service procurement. These are optional, can be set up based on the business requirement as already told. So these two setups, POR proxy server name and the POR proxy server port, these uh, can be set up if the company which is implementing uh, or the buying organization, I would say, is having the proxy setup. And these two setups, they can be set up by a admin who's having the procurement admin duty or the role. Both these profile options are required only when the buying organization is using a proxy setup. Otherwise, these need not be set up. So this is the first setup for configuring punch out catalog. Moving to the next setup, which is create map sets. This is again optional. So what is the map set? Map set in general layman terms is basically a mapping between the buying organization and the seller organization. So Oracle Cloud, it provides four attribute mapping attributes through which you can create a mapping. Uh, one of the example for this would be, say, uh, the UOM. If the buying organization is using a UOM, say, pieces, and the selling organization is having a UOM different, then this map set can be used for creating that mapping. So now I will show you in the Oracle Cloud environment, where to set up this. So for the rest three setups which we are going to do, you would need to have catalog procurement catalog administrator uh, role so that the catalog work area shows in the uh, under procurement. So again go back to home. Once you land on the home page, click on procurement. Under procurement, you see this catalogs work area. This is the one where you have to set up these three next setups. Once you click on that, catalogs home page would or the overview page would open. From the left side task pane, click on that and click on the last task which you see. Manage supplier content map sets. So this is the place where uh, you can create those map sets. So for creating a new map set, click on this create link or the plus icon so this is per uh, a map set belongs to a procurement business unit a single procurement business unit as you can see here so you have to screw for creating you have to select the procurement business unit user we have is having access for us one business unit that's why it's showing the single value. Depending on the user access, it would show more options here. You have to give the map set name and then the description. We'll show you for the existing. We are going to see this catalog, uh, punch out catalog for Amazon punch out, which is already set up in the system. And what are the map sets currently set up for this? So this is, if you click on, if you hover over the manage maps icon, it will open a dialog box, manage maps. So these are the four 
maps you can say which oracle provides category supplier supplier site your so currently for amazon map set only two maps are enabled one is category and another is your so if you will click on edit it will open a spreadsheet in which you can create those mapping so likewise if there is a mapping required for supplier or supplier site those can be handled here. So this is the second setup. This is totally optional setup. If there is a mapping required, then this needs to be set up. Otherwise, this can be skipped. So moving to the third setup, which is creating a punch out catalog. So from the same catalogs overview page, click on the task pane and then click on manage catalogs. Under manage catalogs, once you land on this page for creating a new catalog, Catalogs are of three types, local, punch out and information catalog. We will create the punch out catalog by selecting this option, create punch out catalog. So click on create punch out catalog. This will open the create punch out catalog page. A punch out catalog for creating that first you have to select the procurement business unit again this list of values shows the all the business units based on the users or the admins who is creating this so this setup is normally done by a catalog administrator so the catalog administrator should have the access to create those punch out catalogs So this is the header region where you see the uh, procurement BU, catalog description, keywords, image, URL and under source region you select the type of model which the company is going to implement. Either it is direct CXML or the direct Oracle native XML supplier punch out or the Oracle exchange. So depending on the model which the buying organization is going to implement these punch out definition values change so right now where direct cxml supplier punch out is selected supplier name punch out url and password these are mandatory but if you select on direct oracle native xml supplier punch out the punch out URL password and if you see here encoding method has been added similarly if you click on Oracle exchange these values would change so this is based on the what source or the model you are selecting these different fields would change we'll show you on the already configured Amazon punch out catalog what will setups are there which will give you an understanding of actual setup so on the if you see here there are four buttons here upload punch out search items save save and close these are the normal uh, buttons so this first button upload punch out search item so this is used for level two punch out functionality so in uh, procurement there are two sort of functionalities the one which we are discussing is a level one punch out functionality which is basically where a user is when placing in order it clicks on the punch out catalog and it takes the users to suppliers website but in this case once user sets here in the catalog a list of the suppliers catalog then user can search for those items within self-service procurement 
user doesn't have to go back initially to search for those item this is called the uh, level 2 punch, punch out functionality so we'll see more about the other uh, fields so the catalog is the, you give the catalog name <coughs> then you give the keywords so this keywords here you can enter more keywords this if you enter these keywords user would user can search for this particular catalog which is with the name amazon and quickly open that catalog and navigate to the suppliers website so you can enter here 4000 bytes oracle allows that so this is basically just to help users to navigate to the particular punch out catalog and the url this if you enter the image url this would show on the self service procurement page the url for that punch out catalog similarly for this amazon uh, supplier cxml model is selected so as per that you have supplier supplier site supplier and supplier site are not mandatory these are if you see uh, optional setup but it is recommended to select that select uh, supplier and supplier site next in punch out definition is supplier name this is the uh, company name or the supplier's name then the supplier id this is provided by the supplier so punch out url you enter here and then the password password is uh, the first time when you're going to uh, enter the password this would ask you to retype so this is basically you are identifying yourself with this url and the password in the uh, suppliers so website next you have certain check boxes here so all prices negotiated this is if this particular checkbox is selected so all the items from this punch out will be treated as having negotiated prices then the process master and item master items and agreement lines using punch out this particular flag was introduced in 20a feature uh, upgrade so this provides the ability to process master items and agreement based catalog items returned in cxml punch out payload from an external marketplace vendor site so this is similar to uh, a master items and agreement based catalog items which can be processed from a local catalog so the third checkbox which is disable automatic document sequencing this is for requisitions created through a punch out catalog so there may be a requirement not to honor uh, not to honor the supplier provided price then this checkbox can be enabled and then you have the buyer identification uh, details so this is you can have the buyer identification so your company's done duns number or in this case this is network id so you if you are giving the network id then provide in identity you have to provide the network id number so the this is basically the way the supplier is going to identify the buyer organization or the buying organization so this is the in under mapping you have to attach the map set this is only applicable if there are map set created for the the punch out so we saw this in step number two the supplier mapping set this amazon mapping set was created and it is attached here so apply mapping you have to check this and then select the map set 
in this LOV, you can see what all map sets are created and then you can attach them. Uh, then you have the category assignments for catalog browsing. This is, is if you have to associate or a particular category for the catalog category assignment, then you specify this. You have to click on this uh, select and add icon to add the category. Here, this particular category is so there is a task uh, uh, where we assign the catalog category hierarchy. This category is coming from there. Once it is in attached in the catalog category hierarchy, you can select that category name here. Once all the setups are done, there is a test connection here. So first time when any cat punch out catalog is being set up, you can click on this test icon to test the connectivity, whether this connect punch out catalog connection is currently working. And so this will complete the punch out catalog setups. Once this is done, you can click on save and close to close this particular page. So this completes the third setup, which was the most important setup while creating a punch out catalog functionality. So we are now on the fourth setup, which is to add a catalog to the content song. Again, to do this, you have to be on the catalog home page or the overview page under catalog work area and then click on manage content zones. So once the manage content zone page opens, so here you can uh, see what all content zones are already created. If you want to create a new one, you click on this plus icon. So this is the content zone which is created for the Amazon punch out catalog or rather where the Amazon punch out catalog is attached. So this is for US1 business unit. The procurement view is US1 procurement view and the content zone. This is the name given for the content zone so you have to select usage so what is the usage for this particular content zone whether this is being used for requisitioning or for procurement so this can be created for requisitioning or procurement based on that usage you have to select this check uh, the radio button then you give a description and under the catalogs is where you attach the uh, catalog, uh, punch out catalog which you have created. So for attaching it, you have to click on select and add. And the catalog, punch out catalog which you have created, you can search for it or either directly locate it and then click apply and so Amazon punch out catalog is already added here. Likewise, you can see here that it also allows you to add different types of catalogs, punch out or informational or local. So content zone is basically, you can see that it's a grouping of the contents, different contents, punch out, informational, local, or the if you go further down you can see here the public shopping list say you can attach the public shopping list here or the smart forms here so it's grouping of basically these information so you are by creating the content zone the buying organization is allowing what content would be visible to the uh, requesters or the users so the 
last part which is the most important part is security so here based on the uh, how you want to secure the content you select available to all requisitioning views so you can create a single uh, content zone and then you can enable it to all the requisitioning views or business units or you can select or if you want to create a separate one or if you want to segregate it view wise then you select on requisitioning view you can also you also have an option so once you select here uh, secured by requisitioning view so right now this is secured for us1 business unit so you click on here if you further want to add say us2 business unit you will click on select and add and add the business unit the required business unit similarly there is also a provision to secure it by a worker so this can also be secured for particular users then you can select the those users once all these setups are done details are provided in a content zone this completes the setup for content zone so we have added the catalog in the content zone which would complete your last setup which is add catalog to a content zone so this completes the setups or the configurations which are required for punch out catalog functionality in self service procurement cloud now we will go to the oracle environment and see this particular punch out catalog information so we will go to home from home click on procurement and click on purchase requisitions work area based on the roles or the data access you have you would uh see the data or you would have see the you will have the access or so here you see a shop by category on the left hand side so this is the punch out catalog amazon which we have seen the setups so if while creating the punch out catalog for amazon the search criteria keywords were amazon and prime so if I, we search with prime here it should ideally open the amazon punch out catalog so click on search see here the amazon punch out catalog opens so similarly say if i add alexa here which was not added in the keyword this is just for showing that this would not return any search any criteria okay if i search for amazon it would open the amazon punch out catalog so once you click on this uh, amazon link it would navigate us to suppliers website which is in this case amazon so we'll click on this so this opens the suppliers website so let's add one item here say add to cart okay so it says that uh, one item is added to cart and submit these items for approval so once we click on this it will take the control back Oracle procurement cloud application
navigating it back to cloud application might take some time depending on the uh, connection. Okay. So now the control comes back to again to self-service procurement cloud and here the requester can add it the quantity so it's they want to increase the quantity that can be done and user can verify the details like uh, this is the requisition total amount and the approval amount shows the if you click over your mouse over this amount it will show the tax amount if there is any tax applicable on this particular item then it would show that so this is the header information of the requisition where you see the requisitioning business unit description which is coming from the supplier catalog procurement get card if the functionality is enabled then that would show justification and the amounts if you want to, uh, the requester want to attach any attachments here any no then that can be added as well this checkbox emergency purchase order number required so this is as soon if this particular checkbox is selected then a purchase order number would be assigned after this particular requisition is submitted and these are the line details which would which would show the description quantity price um everything and in the line one for this line one these are the delivery or the schedule details which would come from the requesters uh, default settings or the requester setting which is the delivery to location and uh, the delivery type so these are coming from requisition preferences set up for this particular requester that's why these details have defaulted and then you have the billing information if any project uh, details are there those would show here charge account is required for creating uh, so if it is not defaulting then you can select the charge account here and this is the contract purchase agreement which is created for this particular supplier and that's why this is showing this contract purchase agreement so as we discussed that if there is a contract purchase agreement for the punch out supplier then that con that would also show in the line once the requisition is created so the last thing is you submit the requisition this would complete the one flow of or the creation of the requisition So we are done with the uh, demo for both setups as well as the creating the punch out catalog requisition. Thank you for watching this video.